Hello, my name is Jonathan Hauser, and I own a company called Cinemec, and we've produced a few tools, and the first tool we produced was a G35 lens adapter, which is a 35 millimeter adapter for video cameras, and our most recent tool uh, is called Hitchcock. It's an iPhone app for storyboarding. So you can take a picture with your iPhone, drop it into Hitchcock, add markups, arrows, zooms, dollies, pans, you can add stand-in characters if you'd like. Uh, add notes, and then you can export it as a PDF, uh, which allows uh, you know, your clients to view it, your, your teacher to view it if you're a student, um, or just for yourself to be able to kind of get an idea of how your film is going to work before you even pull the camera out of the bag. What we're finding is our audience is expanding from just filmmakers to uh, you know, people who own companies maybe who want to come up with an idea for marketing and so they can kind of walk around their store and take pictures and ideas for making commercials and they can show the creative people that. Um, it's also really strong in the student filmmaking. So students who are really new to the celebrity process can just use their iPhones that they already have to take pictures and, and to, to process that. For so, I, you know, although storyboarding is re relatively niche thing compared to all the other iPhone apps, there's still a lot of people who need to be able to tell their creative story before they're actually able to kind of put it down on paper or whatever. A gentleman in Australia who in a relatively large production company who uh, deals with his clients all the time on a day-to-day -day basis, um, his standout story was essentially he went to his, he's been going to his clients, sitting down with them, and for instance it's a commercial for a cafe. He'd sit down with them and uh, take pictures of the location, and then on his way back, uh, he could actually storyboard um, the whole the whole commercial. And by the time he got back to the office, he could email that to his client. And half hour later, his client could actually have a visual representation of what the project would look like, and he can interact with his client. And he's just noticed his his uh, you know his interaction with his client has just completely improved, and it's really become a powerful tool for him. And it's actually helped him get other jobs, and it's paid for the $20 over, many times over. Hitchcock as it stands right now is a very um, bare bones, minimalistic uh, view of what we feel like is, is necessary. And I like that because it's very clean, there's not a whole lot that's added into it. But there are some features we want to add to the next versions, and, and mainly it just involves uh, being able to export as a movie file. So. Uh, you'll be able to build your storyboard, you can view it on your phone after you've timed it out, uh, but you'll be able to export it to, uh, say, a client or your producer or director, um, and uh, be able to kind of show the actual real-time timing of your, your storyboard. And also we're going to be able to uh, share your Hitchcock files with other people. So if there's somebody else who has Hitchcock, you can email them your Hitchcock file, they'll be able to open it and uh, you know, make suggestions or ideas or changes and kind of build that collaborative process. And also, uh, you'll be able to import PNG files. Uh, so if you've got a car or some specific tree that you want to use or a monster or a zombie or something, you can create your own PNG, import it into Hitchcock so you can use it uh, you know, in your storyboard. So one more feature we're going to add is the ability to be able to uh, do kind of a very limited drawing on your storyboard. So, you know, the whole purpose of Hitchcock is kind of remove, uh, move away from the drawing, but a lot of people are saying, hey, we want to draw, we want to be able to put stuff on it. So, um, we'll be able to, to do that in future versions.